Hey, what's up everybody? This is Justin with Siage Scents. I've got a list of fragrances today for you that are fresh, they're versatile, they're kind of all year long. Each one of these will work in summer, but really they'll even work in winter as well. So this is kind of an all year long list of fragrances, but please subscribe to my channel. We're heading towards a thousand. We've got giveaways coming once we get a little closer. So get subscribed so you can be a part of that and let me know down in the comments, what do you think of these? Do you have any? And what would be some that you would add to the list? All right, the first one I'm gonna mention, this one is an extremely powerful fragrance. It is easily a 12 hour fragrance. It's got good projection, good sillage. It is a beast. This is Moschino Toy Boy. And so this one right here, I just have a little 15 mil or maybe a 20 mil little uh, bottle of, it's an EDP. It's very strong and it is a rose fragrance. It's a spiced rose fragrance. It's very interesting. There is some sweetness in here. Uh, there is kind of an under bed of spices and there is a fresh rose right up top. Uh, I don't like floral fragrances as a rule, but this one is just sweet enough and just spicy enough that I actually do like this one. But be warned, it's super strong. And for me, this is one like every couple months I'll break out. I've gotta be in the mood for it. And uh, even after a shower, it might not wash off. So be sure you're in the mood for Moschino Toy Boy, an awesome spiced sweet rose fragrance. Not super sweet, but sweet enough. All right, another one that can kind of be worn all year long that's uh, just different in that it's fresh, but it's also got some sweetness. This is Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct Extreme. So the First Instinct line, there's really some good fragrances in that, but this one is the best. It's the best performing, you know, it's maybe an eight plus hour fragrance, and it's a beautiful sort of melon fragrance. It's got a little bit of warm, spicy qualities, a little bit of sweetness, but right up top, you get something that's going to remind you of like a honeydew melon, some kind of a sweet melon or something like that. Some of the actual notes that it has are more in the line of a warm, spicy fragrance, but what I get is bright melon uh, that's going to last you for quite a long time. I'm gonna to try to avoid going into too much detail on these for the sake of time. All right, the next one that I'll mention, this one was a hype beast of a few years ago. It's a $20 fragrance you can get at most rack stores. This is Mont Blanc Individuel. So this is a uh, bright, fresh raspberry fragrance. Right up top, you're going to get raspberry. It might remind you just slightly of Yoop Ohm, but it's not as strong, it's not as overpowering as that. It's like a pleasant version of that. I'm not a huge fan of the original Yoop, but it also is uh, similar to Creed Original Santal, which was actually kind of copied after this fragrance. So this is a fresh raspberry, and what you're gonna get in the dry down as the raspberry starts to fade is something that reminds me of dryer sheets. So clean laundry, sweet raspberry and clean laundry, and Creed actually copied Mont Blanc uh, with this one. All right, this next one. This is a niche fragrance, but it is from the house of Mancera, some of the most um, uh, affordable niche fragrances. This one's really interesting because it's an oud fragrance that tons of people wear in the heat of summer. This is Mancera Lemon, uh, Lemon Mint Oud. And so just like you would expect, you get a fresh, sweet lemon up top. Uh, you do get a little bit of mintiness, although that's not a main feature of this fragrance like you would expect from the name. And then you do get a little bit of an oud in the base, but what it does is add a little bit of heft to the fragrance. It doesn't get any kind of funky or anything like that. It just adds some 
uh, some strength to this fragrance, but I've heard this described as something that will remind you of lemon heads as it goes into the dry down, and I get that. And it's a good performing fragrances, four or five sprays is all you need. A fresh lemon fragrance that is strong enough to work in the winter and in the fall, but is fresh enough and bright enough to work for the warmer weather also. Okay, next up, let's go with one that uh, I wanted for a long time, but the prices were just out of control. And recently, it's come available again in a very reasonable price range, you know, $40 to $60, somewhere in there. This is Paco Rabanne Ultra Red Man. And what you're going to get with this one is vanilla, orange, and praline. Those are kind of the standouts, and you'll pick out each of those notes. And then in the base, you have something that is not too dissimilar from Paco Rabanne 1 million, but you've got that orange and praline that are just a standout that are going to last for hours, and then a vanilla that lasts through the whole fragrance. It is pretty sweet, but because of the freshness of that orange, this can be used in the heat just be aware of your sprays. Maybe go two or three instead of five or six with this one. Next up, this is one that's been uh, another kind of hype monster, one that I've talked about a little bit, and a another one that was really expensive a few months ago, but it started to come down from around $70 or $80, back down to around $45, which is where it belongs. This is Rasasi Hawass. And so this is the original fragrance that produced the Invictus Aqua DNA. This actually came out before Invictus Aqua, and it smells a lot like it, like the 2016 version. It is just a beautiful, um, slightly aquatic. I don't think it's super aquatic because it's, a, it's a, a little more on the sweet side, uh, kind of a bubblegum, sweet, aquatic slightly spicy fragrance that's going to remind you a whole lot of Invictus, uh, and it's going to last forever. This is like a 12-hour fragrance. It's a great deal, uh, especially now that the price is under control again. The last one, I think I have seven here. Number seven, this is one that kind of perplexes me because the texture of this fragrance or the kind of aura of this fragrance, you would think when you spray it on, this is going to be a super heavy winter fragrance, but it actually does work in some warmer weather. I'm talking about Paco Rabanne 1 Million Lucky. In the opening, you do have some sweet notes and uh, some bright uh, fruitiness. But when you get toward the dry down, you've got some ozonic notes, these sort of airy notes that mix with some nutty notes. And so you end up with something very different in the dry down than you do in the opening. And because of the ozonic qualities, this actually does work in warmer weather. I've worn it in the summer before, but again, it's three sprays instead of five or six sprays. And this one, Works great in the winter because it's super last, uh, long lasting and it's quite strong, but you can also pull it off in warmer weather. Just dial back the sprays. It's quite different from the original 1 million in that it's not overpoweringly sweet and it's got that ozonic freshness that make it much more versatile. So that's been seven fragrances that you can pretty much wear all year long, just know where you're going and how many sprays to use. Uh, but let me know in the comments, what would you add? I intentionally didn't put any blue fragrances in here because those are easy. Uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different, uh, but let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts? And again, please subscribe to the channel, help me get to a thousand. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.